All right, in this section, we're going to talk about this molecule, ATP, which is by far the most important molecule for getting things done inside a cell. ATP is the molecule that cells use to actually power and make things happen inside the cell. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate. So adenosine is a nucleic acid. Uh, phosphate, you remember, is a phosphate group, a potassium, or I'm sorry, a phosphorus with four oxygens attached. And then triphosphate means that there are three phosphates attached. So you can see here's our adenosine, phosphate, phosphate, phosphate. And you can see we've got chemical bonds between the phosphate groups. This chemical bond right here, this is the one that is going to be important there for um, storing energy and releasing energy. So the energy stored in this bond is going to be released to move things in the cell. So uh, when we do, when the cell moves around, when the cell changes shape, when things move within the cell, when something moves um, by active transport across a membrane, all of these things are going to require energy, and the most common form of energy is ATP, which means that we break that bond. And when we do that, we end up with, I have completely lost my pen, we, we end up with ADP plus a phosphate. So ADP, adenosine diphosphate, okay, D, two phosphate groups. So we've got an A with two phosphates plus now we have another phosphate group that has been released. This is sometimes called inorganic phosphate, or P lowercase i, or subscript i, because it doesn't have any carbon in it, and organic molecules contain carbon. Sometimes we just call it a phosphate, okay? These two parts, the ADP and the, uh, uh, the phosphate, are going to go back to the mitochondria to get put back together to be turned into ATP. And that's what the mitochondria does, and that's why the mitochondria is, are called the powerhouses of the cell, is they make the power here, okay? All right, so different kinds of work that the cell can do. We can uh, change the shape of things and cause things in the cell to move. So within your muscles, ATP binds to proteins within your muscles, causes this little motor protein, this little thing, it's called a myosin head, to contract or flip. That shortens the muscle and contracts the muscle, okay? Shortens the muscle cell, all the muscle cells contract together, shortens the muscle. When that happens, the ADP and the phosphate then are released they then go back to the mitochondria to get put back together to become an ATP again. So your uh, muscle cells have lots of mitochondria because they need lots and lots of ATP. Um, the transport proteins that move things across the membrane of the cell. Now I know we haven't done cells yet, and so if you're thinking like, I have no idea what you're talking about, it's okay. We're going to do cells before we have our first exam, so don't worry about it. Okay, I'm going to throw a bunch of terms at you. You may not understand them yet, but you will in a, uh, after the next lectures. So on the membrane, sometimes we have to move something from an area of low concentration where there aren't many of those things to an area where there are already lots of those things. Okay, think of you trying to shove um, more stuff into an overfilled closet. Okay, it's going to take some energy to do that. Um, and so we use the power of ATP. ATP is going to bind to a protein on the membrane, be broken. That energy released is going to provide enough energy to move this thing across the membrane. And then the phosphate gets released, and we have ADP and phosphate again. And again, they go back to the mitochondrion to get turned back into ATP. Um, also creating chemical bonds between other molecules or other atoms. So this sounds kind of funny because you think like, well, why would we bother making an ATP and then using the energy in an ATP to make some other molecule? Why not just make that other molecule directly? Well, it's because our cells can't do that. 
That's that's just beyond them. Okay, just like we use gasoline to power cars and trucks and boats and planes, cells use ATP. Okay, so um, we can take the energy between the second and third phosphate, break that, and transfer that energy to create a bond between two other things. Okay, or to break a bond between two other things. Sometimes we need ATP for that too. So the ATP is constantly being cycled. It's being made in the, in what organelle? The mitochondrion. Mitochondrion is singular, mitochondria is plural, for those of you who wonder why I'm going back and forth. Uh, the mitochondria reattach the phos phosphate, the ATP then goes out into the cytoplasm of the cell, gets broken up into ADP and phosphate, gets taken back to the mitochondria to get put back together, gets broken, put back together, gets broken, put back together. If any of you are parents, this is like being a parent of a toddler. All right, so that's that ATP, our most important molecule. Okay, you do need to know that it is adenosine triphosphate and it breaks into adenosine diphosphate plus a phosphate group. And in the next, uh, section we will talk about one of the things that uh, ADP gets used or ATP gets used for which is helping enzymes do their work.